Alright, before I start this video and explain what's going on in week 5, I would like to say I am very, very, very absolutely freaking proud of what we have done so far. There's no doubt about it. I think we've, we're on a really good path. Um, you might not think so, but uh, what we have done, and I, I, I don't like to compare myself to others, but if if you were to see what I see, if you were able to see um, what was going on on a different level, I will tell you that we've done a pretty good job of uh, being able to like communicate back and forth. That's huge. Even if there was a few students that were, you know, like like super not communicating, the level that we have as a group is pretty good okay so I, I would almost guarantee that there's a lot of teachers out there that wish they had the method or the the ability to communicate the way um, we've been doing it and I bet I bet uh, a lot of students have been ghosting their instructor like no other at least with you guys when I do ask for something you respond you know what I mean like it you respond it might take a uh, a text message, but you actually respond, so that's good. There, there might be a few teachers that probably don't get that level of response, and I'm, I'm going to say that I am thankful that I have the group that I have now, and I am so glad that we've uh, gone in the direction that we are, because it's very, it, it's shown what was needed at first for this to work out. So, cool. Good job. Now, um, yeah, that, I just wanted to congratulate you on being really good students. I, I got a gr good group now. Um, if you are struggling with the whole online education thing, um, I totally understand how it works. You know, like it, you're not going to get it right away. I realize that too. Uh, it it takes as an online student. I, I've been all online as an all online student. My wife is an all online student. So I can tell you that when you're all online, the, the hardest part is trying to develop a routine that you can live by. That you can just, you know, like at so, a certain time, this is what I do. So if you don't have that routine, it's because you haven't learned how to develop one yet because there was no need to develop it. We developed it for you. All the teachers in the world developed it for you. For generations and then you got your parents that have done the same thing so they're placing little faith in you too because they went through the same routine having other people make your routine for you okay so that's going to make it a little hard for you until you get to the point where you can balance yourself out without any help whatsoever so you've been doing a really good job good job now Let's kind of like look at what is required for week five. All right, week five. So as promised in uh, one of the recent videos, I said that I am going to be taking away a little bit at a time because now you're getting used to the workflow. So the menu really does kind of hit home the workflow. The workflow is you design it, you upload it, right? What you upload it as is a PDF. So in the long run, what you're doing is you're always just trying to make a really good PDF. Easy as that. Whatever you're doing, it's always a PDF, especially with dealing with this this uh, uploading products to a website and having them drop ship places. So you've been doing this already. You did it once with the business card. You did it once with the menu. Now, I'm going to be taking away a few of the things because you can always resource them back here if you need to. You shouldn't have to, though, at this point. So let's kind of look at the online print 3 stationery. So now you're going to have to find the product, envelopes number 10, and letterhead. Stationery is a series of things that companies use in order to communicate with clients. One of them is going to be the envelope. 
and the other one's going to be the letterhead. You made menus already, okay? We're going to make matching stationery for those menus. Pretty sweet, right? Yeah. Matching stationery for those menus. So we're going to have a mailer. If you really think about it, we'll have a number 10, which holds an 8.5 by 11, which your trifold is. Uh, and then we're going to have the letterhead explaining what's on the menu. And then we'll have to be able to, we could, in the long run, um, have a complete mailer package. It's going to be sweet. So this was given to you by the company. It's a logo. Depending upon which menu you did, let's say you did Clavons, which if you did uh, Aka, you have to choose which logo to use. Now these logos are horrible. They are very pixelated, so you can't use these. These are only to design from. So, the only thing I gave you this week is the new understanding that there is programs that allow you to do that. Online, free of charge, don't have to install them. So this video, I handed this out a few weeks ago, or I think it was last week, uh, but here it is now in the assignment. So this video shows you examples on how to use this one, and how to use this one, and how to use, oops, and how to use this one. So there's four links here. Make sure that you hit the show more. These are all applications online. They're absolutely free and they're awesome, especially boxy SVG. So you will need to make a vector of these logos. You will then have to make it as a PDF. Good news. These websites actually save as PDF. You will then have to upload it to Vistaprint and put them on an envelope and a letterhead. And on the letterhead part, you will need to include the address, so we need the envelope. The Jackson location of these two or these businesses. These are all businesses based out of Jackson. So just find the address, make sure that the envelope has that address on it along with the logo and this needs to have the logo and the address when you are done you're going to be uploading me just like you did with the menu you're gonna give me a screenshot of the envelope front and back if need be the letterhead and you're going to be giving me the le vector logo as an SVG. This is to prove that you made it into an SVG or a vector image because you would have to make a vector in order for it to support this. So out of this program, for example, uh, there is a file, uh, save, and then there's going to be an SVG. Okay? Easy as that. Very easy program to use, by the way. Uh, I, I think Inkscape is way more complex than that program. So if you made it through any of the Inkscape, you'll be fine with that one. So that is one of the parts in week five. This shouldn't take you very long, to be honest with you. All right, the next thing in week five is the, as promised, five-point employability forgiveness. Okay, so what do I need this time? Well, this time I need probably something you already have, which is a resume. I'm going to guess that you probably have been resumed to death. To death. I need this in the final portfolio anyway, so I decided to step up and start collecting these now. So for your five points of employability forgiveness, I gave you this. You are to copy and paste your resume to it. Copy, paste your resume to this. Even if it's like a rough draft of it, but n try to get a finished product because that'll hurt you in the long run. And later on, you'll 
make more work for yourself. So try it when you copy paste it from whatever app or whatever you got. Make sure the formatting looks nice. Make sure it looks nice. You're a graphic designer. Step up. So there. That is what is required to get the five points of employability back. So in other words, if you were a person that, you know, maybe slept in a little bit too long or forgot one day to do your, I have five points that you can get back for that 30% of your grade, which is a pretty substantial uh, hit if you did it in enough times. It's not going to absolutely save you. If you are a person that thinks that, you know, like doing that, uh, without doing any of the assignments, that's not going to work out. You got to do the assignments too. I had a lot of those students last marking period. They were like, "Well, if I do my employability, because um, it's thirty percent, that's the seventy percent is the classwork." Still, if you have missed a few points, though, this, aim for this. This is something you can do. It's really easy. You can just. I, I'm a, almost a hundred percent sure all students have a resume, even if it's one from last year. It's a good place to get started. Okay, so it doesn't have to be the final one. So stationary that uh, Wednesday submission as always, and your employability for this week. Cool. Week six. I'm not going to have a video on week six. This is going to be the video for week six. Week 6 is going to stay exactly the way it is right now. I'm not going to add anything to week 6. You need those days to make up. Alright. Cool. Week 4 was that really light, if you've noticed that. It was just this pixel challenge. Because I wanted you to really work on this menu. So, you know, this... is. Uh, kind of go over the overall. This was a really big grind, right? This took a lot of effort. This one was a light one. Okay. Super not light. Kind of grindy. Light again. Medium. Then end. So I kept with this natural flow of things for a reason. Now if you followed the flow like that, you probably didn't struggle at all. But now I notice that there are a few students that have been waiting for something, I don't know what, and they still have not yet started. So I don't know how that's going to work out quite well with this one. but. I, I do have faith in you because the fact is that you've done this every marking period and for 20 odd years you, it's always been the same. So I always see the same mechanical flow even if we're not person or in person. They always are failing week two. Uh, week four they are in a state of panic and week six they somehow save themselves. Okay natural flow of things. So I still have faith in you guys. Probably more faith than you have in yourself. But uh, we need to step this up because the circumstances are a little different this time. I have a lot of adults that don't have as much faith as you as I do. So this is going to get a kind of oh, it's going to get messy. It is. Alright, so please don't wait till last minute this time. You're in a new environment. You're learning a different way. So please provide yourself a little bit more wiggle room than what you are now. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, again, Discord will be open no matter what happens. I'm still going to be taking attendance in Discord no matter what happens. Okay. I'm still going to mark you present virtual no matter what happens. Whether we go back, whether we go back, whatever. I'm still going to maintain this workflow for quite some time. I like it. I like this workflow. It's, it's, it, this shows way better communication, this, than those stupid pieces of paper that we sign every day. So I'm going to try to maintain this. 
All right, cool. Uh, other than that, uh, let me know of any questions you have on Discord, first and foremost. Read your comments on past assignments. There's lots of us people that have not read their thing. I've been trying to post the comments here sometimes if you're not responding, but you need to step up and start reading those uh, posts. All right, have a good one.